Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. Today, we're going to talk about here strings in Bash. Now you might be thinking, what is that? I have no idea what that is. You know when you see something like this where it's cat and then the name of the file because you have one less than sign there? Hey, that's awesome. We can do redirection in Bash. You ever see the two less than signs? Hey, we can do the same thing. We can pipe into the standard input of cat, but this time we can put whatever we want here, put EOF, and then we get whatever I put there. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Did you know there's an alternative syntax? So instead of that, we can just, uh, what is it? Cat with three less thans. Hey, that's awesome. What do we put here? A string, LOL. So instead of reading from a file or reading until EOF, we read from a string. We use three less thans. That is called a here string. Let's look at some of the examples we have here. The first example, the simple example, it's exactly what I just showed you, just to show that there's no trickery going on here. Hey. It does exactly what we want. Let's look at the first example now, uh, 01 from var. So we have a variable here called input, and we say this is a variable for dollar user. Okay, dollar user will expand to our current uh, username. So in my case, it'll be Dave. And then we put that into cat. So cat will receive that as standard input. And this works exactly how we expect it to work. Hey, that's awesome. Let's look at our next one. We have something called read example. We're going to use the read built in. I'm not going to go into the specifics of that. We're going to read this string foo space bar space baz, and we're going to have three variables here A, B, and C. We're going to read that into A, B, and C. We'll get A is A, B is B, and C is C. So here's the script. If we run that script, look at that A is foo, B is bar, C is baz. This is a way of splitting strings in bash using the read built in. Super useful and also shows how the here string can be used to do that. What's the next one? So we have, what is it called? Into funk. That's not right. Into func. Okay, so what's going on here? We declared a function. This function does a while read line. That means it continuously consumes standard in. We're not doing any sort of redirection here. We don't have the name of file here or anything. Nope. We're just going to read from standard input, and the standard input of a function is right here. So we're going to read this in. So if we run that, here's what the source code looks like. If we run that, we can see that we got one line, this is one line. Of course we got one line, we only passed it one line. Hey, that makes perfect sense. We can also pass in multi-line. So this is a bash syntax to um, expand special characters. The special character in this case is the new line. So you can see this is new line, two lines. So what happens when we run that? Take a look at this. We got two lines. So even though it's in a string, you can pass multiple lines in there because the string can just have a new line character in it. This is a super useful way of passing strings as standard input into a function or a command or something without having to use like echo or cat or anything. This is completely built in the shell, super simple, easy redirection. This is here strings in bash. Yo, and of course I want to give a shout out to my patrons over at Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the channel, you want your name at the end of the videos like this, go ahead and head over to my Patreon. You can see I got the link right there. Uh, shout out to Bubsky, Jeffrey, Balram, Wild Trudu Coffee, Gustavo, Nick, Vasili, Fractal, Hawk, Nameless Beard, Vorno. Shout out to A-Rex, Aaron, Daniel, Hayden, Adam, David, Ron, Alex, Greg, Tiago. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And yeah, see ya.